Hi, good morning and welcome back to Insurance 101 by Trusted Capital. I want to first start off by saying thank you so much for joining me. I also want to let you know that I've done insurance for the last 15 to 16 years, probably older than that, but I do stop with that because I have want everybody to think that I started when I was two. Um, but I actually do insurance in the state of New York. Yes, I am licensed in many different states. However, insurance is regulated by the state. So before you go run out and purchase coverage or you actually do or take heed to some of these practices or things that I am going to tell you, I just want you to make sure that you always check with your local agent and your state's rules and regulations. So today I am actually going to talk about rental car insurance because I have a lot of clients who are always traveling to different states and they always call me and ask me the same question. Do I need to take out the rental car company's insurance? So if you are traveling within the U.S. and the U.S. territories, you would actually be covered underneath your own insurance policy if you have liability coverage because that liability coverage, the liability property damage portion would actually pay out and cover the rental vehicle in the event that you actually do damage to that car. However, I always do suggest that you do go in there and take out the rental car insurance company's insurance. What they offer is something called co collision damage waiver. So it basically gets you off of the hook for any type of damage that you might have done. Now, yes, if you basically have now liability coverage, I don't know where the myth came from stating that you had to have full coverage in order for your collision to pick up if you, let's say, smack up a rental car. That makes no sense because liability the property damage liability portion is what's going to be the one that covers the damage to that rental car because i was liable to i was liable for damages to someone else's property so i don't know why people say oh you have to have collision in order for full coverage or collision and comprehensive in order for the loss to be covered in the event that you um that you actually let's say crash or you know smack up a rental car company's vehicle however i suggest that you take out the coverage for the, from them due to the fact of this in the event that let's say you get into an accident and now here it is that accident happened to be your fault you caused damage to someone else's property plus that rental car property which is now in your possession the rental car company's insurance will pay for the damage for their vehicle that's where that collision damage waiver comes in and most of the time it's no more than 12 bucks and like i tell this one particular person who's probably watching my videos now stop being so cheap and take out the coverage so it might cost you maybe 12 bucks a day, if that. Now here it is, you smack up someone else's car, you do a ding in someone's Beamer, they just need it buffed out or whatever the case is. So they go and get their vehicle fixed underneath that policy, that rental car company's, um, that rental car company's vehicle is actually fixed underneath their insurance. Now here it is, um, let's say next year, you come to me and say, wow, my insurance rates have increased and now I want you to go ahead and shop my rates around. But if you would have put that claim in underneath your insurance policy and that damage that you caused was over the threshold and your insurance company had to pay out $2,000 or more, now you're going to be surcharged on your insurance policy for the next what? 39 months stop telling me that the accident is old that it's three four years that it's um three years old it's 39 months the insurance companies actually go by 
three years and three months, they will surcharge you for the accident. And no, they will not remove a surcharge in the middle of a policy term. So I always say, why pay for something for the next four, three, three and a half years when you could have actually just paid the $12 and gone ahead and taken out the rental car company's insurance. And then you would, I can go ahead and remarket your account to see if I can get you a better rate into a better company and we wouldn't be even having this discussion. Now also, your insurance company of course would pay for injuries in the vehicle and your insurance company, now let's say that you decided that at the counter you wanted to take out the rental car insurance company's coverage. Make sure that you tell them that you want to have theft for your personal belongings because in the event that you decide to not take out the coverage and then you want to go up underneath your own insurance company and let's say your personal belongings get stolen out of that vehicle the only way that there would be coverage is you would have to put a claim against your homeowner's policy and then at that particular point in time if you do not have something called off-premises theft coverage on your policy guess what I have to tell you that's right, it's not covered. So I wanna say thank you so much again for watching Insurance 101. So by Trusted Capital, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Have an amazing day.